Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Crafty Terrain. My name's Lee and today we're going to be doing a box opening for the operative expansion, Boba Fett. Okay, let's see what we've got in the box. Okay, let's take a look what we've got inside the box. We'll start with the mini and then we'll move on to the cards. So give you all a quick look at the back of the box. And then we've got the famous quote from Darth Vader, no disintegrations, which is pretty cool. And then you've got your leaflet with all your rules that you're gonna have for Boba Fett on the back and how to assemble Boba. Um, okay, let's get the mini out with his base and he's got a flight stand. He's in a like, um, action pose, which is gonna be always in quite a lot of pieces. So. Uh, I'll get that built and then I'll come back. Okay, so there we have the Boba Fett model assembled. I haven't put the flames on the back so they don't dry fit and then I can't get the flight stand in without, I don't want to risk the snap. But if we look at the model, it's real cool. It sits a couple of inches, well, sorry, about an inch off the base. It's got that cape flowing and then you can put the flames onto the bottom of the jetpack here. I should bring that nice and close. But yeah, Boba Fett, such an iconic character for Star Wars and that Return of the Jedi. So I can't wait to get paint on him and get him onto the battlefield. Let's have a look at some of the cards we've got with Boba. We'll start with his the tokens inside. So you get your orders, um, your immobilizes, your suppression, your wounds, and then your dodge, your standby, and your aim. So all your normal tokens. If you have a look at your upgrade cards, so you've got emergency stims, duck and cover, and hunter. So I think hunter on Boba, you know, for your bounty hunters is normally the way to go. Um, not too sure if you need stems. Maybe, maybe not. Depends if you've got the points spare. So we take a look at his card. We start in the top left corner. So Boba is 140 points. He has jump too, so he's gonna be able to get over that terrain, no problem. So, you know, you can move out and take them shots when you want to. If you go in, you know, if you can get that situation where you get to go last first with Boba Fett, that's really good. So you can jump out, do your shots, next turn go first, shoot again, and then jump back behind the cover. He's got Arsenal too, so you can fire two of his weapons per turn. He's got the bounty to get your extra victory token if you kill whoever you put that bounty on. And then he's got two um, gear upgrades. He's also got impervious, so while defending uh, in an attack pool that has the PSX roll, you get to roll additional X dice up to that PS value. So that's going to help him defend against Jedi and against weapons with the PS value. And then he's also got Sharpshooter 2, so allowing him to just remove cover. So no one's going to have any cover against Boba Fett. If we take a look at the weapons in hand-to-hand, -hand, he's just got his boot spikes, which is two red. And then he's also got a choice of two ranged weapons. So at a range one to two, he has wrist rockets. Um, and they are double black and have impact one. And then at range one to three, he has his EE3 carbine, and that's again two black with a PS1. So as long as you've got Boba Fett within range two, he's got Arsenal two, he can fire both of these weapons into the attack pool, um, giving him impact one and PS1 of four black dice. Or you could split fire then weapons if you wanted to at two different units if you wanted to give out more suppression and um, things like that because you should be scoring hits hopefully with them black dice. Then his red defense dice, he's five wounds with a courage value of three. And then he has a uh, surge to crit and surge on defense. So he's got the best surges you can possibly have. And then he's move three. So with that jetpack and jump two, move three, Bobbers and really be able to get around the battlefield where he needs to go. Um, is five wounds a problem? Thinking that you've got to get him in close. So he's probably going to take a lot of fire coming back in. It might be. So you, them emergency stems might be um, a good way to get him uh, some more health maybe so yeah really cool cards for Baba I think he could be really useful in the right list 
Let's have a look at his order tokens then. So if we start with the free pip, and that's the Z6 Jetpack Rocket, it gives an order to just Boba Fett as most operative cards do. But during Boba Fett's activation, he gains the following weapon. So he gets to shoot his rocket from the jetpack, and that's range three to four. It's three red dice, has blast and impact two so um that's a real good card it's going to remove cover but boba's got sharpshooter anyway so blast doesn't really matter too much there um but the impact two is going to be good against vehicles so in that turn if you can get into range one to three you're going to have two black dice um as well as three red if you fire the rocket so yeah that's a not nice card to get some damage across when you want to collect that bounty if we look at the two pip the uh, ZX Flame Projector, and again, it's just Boba Fett, and then during Boba Fett's activation, he gains the following weapon. It's one red dice at range one, but it has Blast and Spray, so Spray can be so good against trooper units, great against droids, it means you get to roll one red dice for every um, mini in that unit. So if you're attacking, let's say, five rebels, you're going to roll five black dice, um, and they'll have, sorry, five red dice, and they will have no cover. So when you're in nice and close, combine that with your, your carbine as well, you're going to have a really strong dice ball. So Boba Fett's very offensive with all these weapons that he's got, which he should be, being, you know, uh, the bounty hunter that he is. And then Boba Fett's one pip, which is the whipcord launcher. And again, it's Boba Fett only. And it's Boba Fett can perform moves while engaged with a unit that has one or more immobilized tokens during Boba Fett's activation. He gains um, free action. Choose an enemy trooper unit at range one. And in line of sight, it gains two immobilized tokens and two suppression tokens. So basically, this is going to enable you to move out of combat um, because you're going to give the whoever you hit with the whip cord, you're going to give them immobilized tokens, allowing you to move away. So if you're in danger um, of the Jedi, like maybe killing you that turn, it allows you to wrap them up, as you can see in the artwork of the card from Return of the Jedi, and then you get to move away um, with your speed three and you jump two and you should be able to get to safety hopefully so um a nice one pip card there with bob and you should get to go first hopefully with your one pip and get away so um yeah fantastic we'll have one more close look at the mini okay great that brings us to the end of today's video if you've enjoyed the video then please leave us a like if you want to see more from the guys at crafted terrain then remember to subscribe and click that bell hope you have a great day